Greetings entities and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. So this video is going to be a little bit interesting because I'm going to be running through the first part of all the levels in the Operation Time Fixes event. Now you may be asking, I cover the whole entire story. What's the point of running through the entirety of Chapter 1, which is where are the missing records, and Chapter 2 is what happened to the missing records. So where are they, and what happened to them? But, the reason why I'm running through all this is because once you manage to 100% all of the stories, then you get access to a special power-up, which is pretty interesting. Because, first of all, you have to run with a specific cookie in this. So, for example, in the first part, you have to run with exclusively pilot cookie, but with this power-up, it makes it so that- Why is it loading so much? It makes it so that his flight speed is greatly increased, and also you get points for all jellies, which is greatly increased during the flight. So basically, it majorly boosts uh, pilot cookie skill. Then you go to uh, part 2, not chapter 2, then you see the skill for purple yam, which now I do have unlocked too, which basically if I don't have any of the skills, I could just use this and it costs 100 crystals, but I did want to show it off. But for this, it's increased energy limit for berserk mode, and also increases the tornado destruction points for when he uses the purple tornado. And the last one for part 3 is, of course, coffee candy cookie, which if you look into the details, it reduces the skill cooldown and it greatly increases the time document printing points. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through each of these levels with a specific cookie and the specific cookie skill equipped because I really want to show these skills off and it's actually cool for pilot cookie because it is at max level but I guess it is pinned at level 5. Alright, whatever, I guess it still works. Uh, I'm not sure if I need an exclusive treasure, probably not. Uh, think so at least i mean told me there's like a recommended combi i can use but i guess this works out the best but now i can activate all of these and we're gonna go ahead on a run and let's see how far this can get us i'm not sure if it'll be too far but you know what <laughs> and i know it's really not gonna help us in regards to you know lore and story but you know what? i did want to show these power-ups off because hey if you can only use these power-ups in the fact of like, you know, oh, you can only use them uh, when you get 100% of the story, so basically there's no point in really having to run through this. I think they still have usage because I think it's actually still good to use them because I'm pretty sure this can be what separates low scores from high scores. I mean, it's literally a whole new power-up that you can use, but it's only exclusively for this cookie. So it might be better? I'm not sure. Maybe it is better to use like other cookies, but I'm just saying... The cookie levels are capped, so maybe that really doesn't matter. Even if your cookies are at a low level, they're at, at what I'd say an affordable level that you could actually run with them with. But now look at look, look at the speed. Look at this. Everything is just going and plugging ham, and just the speed. And I could destroy all these things. That's a lot of points right there for destruction. And <laughs> just the plugging little last rocket boost. Fantastic. I'm not even sure if Pilot Cookie has a magic candy. If he did, I probably should have gotten that equipped. But whatever i'm still having a fun time because this the, the flipping it goes so fast and I, I i don't even know what to exactly say about this it's just it's so fast and especially this isn't even including like uh just pilot cookie skill as did you see all that get destroyed that was just from the treasure uh this isn't even a fact with the pilot cookies normal skill this is also a fact of like other things that i have unlocked like you know the other two boosters that i have which is still plumbing phenomenal. Maybe my skill obtaining here isn't too optimized because there's definitely some levers that I could have hit for like extra points. But the thing is, it's so fast I can barely keep track of it. I'm surprised how I haven't even gotten hit yet, which I'm bound to. But I'm going to keep my hopes up and still like do as much as I can while I'm just running through this. Oh, that was close. I feel like for some jumps it feels like I need to do a double, but no. Some jumps it's, a, it's just like simple. But man, this is just catastrophic i guess there's so many things that i'm just picking up here i'm pretty sure it is guaranteed that i'm at least gonna get s rank like look at all these like obstacles being destroyed my plane's just ramming through them and i'm not even giving a can in the world heck i'm pretty sure it's actually ironic how i'm using the uh the plane uh treasure with pilot cookie because <laughs> i'm now just getting that connection right now which i'm actually surprised how that's not an associated treasure because you know airplanes and planes you know should make sense but we did literally just reach s rank is it possible for us to reach double S? Maybe. If our skill activates one more time, I think we literally got SS. Oh my lord. And there's still like... Oh, there's still SS plus. Oh my lord. All oh, the speed. Oh my gosh. SSS is literally within reach. I'm not sure if it's going to be too close. Maybe we... We, 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 might, we might need another treasure. Unless if we do get revived. No. But we literally... We were so close to getting triple S rank. The highest we ever got in the SS plus... That's incredible! And we also got a bunch of other rewards like crystals, treasure enhancement ticket, uh, special magic candy ticket, and coins. Which, if you get at the very top, was that? Yeah, it's rainbow cubes. That is indeed within the realm of possibility. 
I'm just wondering uh, if there's like a certain treasure that we can use for that to get us like even farther than beyond. And we literally get all of them just because we ran through that. I can't believe that. I'm pretty sure if I check best score, I'm not sure if there's much more information I can give on that. Because I think leaderboard is just like uh, whatever. But I think something can be certainly done about that to be improved. But I don't know. This That's fun. <laughs> now let's move on to episode two. Where we will have to run with Purple Yam Cookie. Now, luckily, I already have Purple Yam Cookie equipped. I'm pretty sure all these treasures should be the best ones that you can have, I think. I could definitely be wrong on this, let's be honest. But, whatever the case is, I now need to use the skill of Purple Yam, which, as I mentioned, increases energy limit for Berserk Mode and also increases Tornado dest uh, Destruction Points. So, I'm just going to turn everything on and let's see how chaotic this can get. And I know... I'm absolutely going to probably be horrendous at this, only just because I think it's going to apply more for uh, optical optical destruction. So really, I think this just heavily relies on, like, what's the best places that you can actually, like, have your skill turn on? And also the amount of uh, those floating fire things that you activate. Like, right here? Look at all those obstacles. Oh my gosh. Everything. Boom. Just absolutely shattered. And it's going to get even more insane later on, because it's going to be showing off. Oh, oh, there goes all those. It's gonna be even more insane later on because this isn't even like well i mean berserk mode like obviously but like at the end purple yam has this part of the skill where like it just keeps on activating every like couple seconds so it gets even more destructive if you if you thought purple yam was a destructive machine before oh wait until you see this now of course i know for a fact this isn't the most optimal run i could be doing for uh, purple yam mainly because i don't have purple yam cookie's best costume which is the super epic one that was released uh when i think a uh, lychee dragon cookie was released i think i don't know but that gives more points than the epic costume uh that i have right now but at least it's still better than nothing right now i'm just gonna activate this right here i think this is good i don't know there actually wasn't that many obstacles but hey it's better to use it just for the points but jump over here then duck down don't want yam getting hurt uh oh that would have been a good place for the go to activate unfortunately wasn't that lucky if i could jump down here there we go oh yeah that destroys a lot even if, if it was just for a little bit oh yeah we're definitely in destructive mode right now oh my, that's whoa that bar increased i didn't even notice that's how far it went like seriously i uh, just gotta be careful not to flooding fall like seriously because the anytime that skill activates it's just like eesh at least get me to S rank, maybe. It might be possible. I don't know, but I need to keep on pushing. I need to press this uh, plumbing slide button, quote unquote, a lot because it's not even it's not even turned into a slide button anymore. It's literally just turning into a, a slide and then purple mace, slide and then purple mace, slide and then the plumbing purple tornado. I am actually did I just reach S? Now I'm at S plus. Oh my gosh, I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna keep on running. Oh my gosh. Oh sheesh. I'm, I'm even, I'm, I'm, oh my gosh, I literally fell. That's how, mm, not an optimized skill. Uh, not an optimized score because I fell. But you know what? Oh my gosh, I did not expect to actually make it this far. Oh, let's, oh, I might even get at least double S. Ooh, that's good. Okay, I, is it possible? Oh no, that seems too far. Maybe if I didn't fall, it would be possible. I don't know. But, sheesh, that's so many points though. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, there was an energy potion right there though. All these floating points on all the obstacles being destroyed. I yeah, I feel like if I definitely didn't fall there, I could have definitely at least gotten SS plus. I think that may have been possible. But oh my gosh, literally just this really shows you the difference between using just you know normal running and using the first two boosters, and then running coming back and using the increased like cookie exclusive boosters. It just really gives you motivation to run with these specific cookies because it just makes you go so much farther. We can get the loot. Uh, plumbing crystal coins and special magic candy ticket. How many points? Like, I know, like, getting these, uh, things for the levels, which, you know, the thing, uh, the things that you're meant to collect inside during the levels for the, uh, story. Because that's the loudest car. This is what happens when I record next to the window. That, like, of course, you don't really have to mat- it doesn't matter now, since you basically already got through all the story done. But that's insane! So there's only one more cookie to talk about here, and that's in the Relic Management Division. Which is Coffee Candy herself. Now, of course, I actually managed to uh, give a couple more levels to Coffee Candy, mainly just because the fact I didn't know if level 6 was... Uh, well, I didn't know level 5 would have cut it, uh, quote-unquote cut it. So I decided to, like, yeah, well, cap for this is, like, level 11, I think. Which, that's a lot. So just in case, I'm actually going to go ahead and just slap uh, a set of spirit potions, I'd say. 
that be enough? How much would that be? Would that be... Yeah, I'd still be over 300, so you know what? Level 7. That would be good. And also level 6 pet. Definitely not going to be the most optimized, mainly just because of the fact that, you know, <laughs> not at a high level. But I'm at least going to see if any of these treasures will definitely help me. Because, hey, revival can definitely help you. And of course, this is a reiteration. Reduce skill cooldown. So that means the skill can be activated more often and greatly increase time document printing points, meaning more points. So this is just straight up an entire upgrade. So yeah. I definitely say if you have the spare crystals or whatever, if you're lucky enough to unlock these, I already messed up. I'm going to try again. I don't care what you say. I messed up. I'm trying to make this really optimized. I don't care if I just wasted crystals on that. I'm really much a not optimized YouTuber. <laughs> but plub it, whatever. I'm trying to make this good for the content. Because I already missed one of the buttons from the first beginning. So I need to make sure all this counts. I'm not sure how fast. I guess I could count in my head how fast uh, the cooldown is. I'm, 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 all, I'm literally just saying that sentence. It's already halfway done. Are you kidding me? No plumbing way. That's so. F oh my. Sheesh. That's like. That's like one. Well, like nine million points every button press, and that's not including the points you get from the magic candy after she just spews it all out. Uh, th that's about like. Well, I want to say like 60, 70 million points. I don't know. But that's hectically even for level seven, with a level six pet. That is beyond. That's like. I don't even know what else can I say other than the fact that it's just insane. Like, and I know, like, this video doesn't have anything in regards to lore. But, oh my gosh, this really just goes to show just, like, using these power-ups. And it, also, it does help because I'm pretty sure, uh, even if you, like, don't want to run for, like, the rewards that they give you through these specific levels, I'm pretty sure there's also a thing that they're doing where, uh, if you get a super high score, you can get, like, a certain title and also amount of crystals, depending on what your scores for all three levels combined. And I'm pretty sure the top 1% get, like, the super specific, uh, title. Which, I know, I don't think there's any way that I'm gonna be grabbing that. However, it still would be good to have. I mean, it's not like I haven't done it before. There was, remember the moon rabbit cake tossing, moon cake, <laughs> rice cake tossing event? Yeah, uh, in that one, I actually managed to get top 0%. Which, I, I, I didn't even know that was possible. But that's probably one of the rare times where you ever see me in a high percentage regard. I think I can at least get SS. Because with how I'm going right now, my skill should activate one more time, then I should be getting a revive, and then my skill can activate at least one more time, I think. Potentially. But anyway, back of the skill. This activates so fast, like, it is unheard of. Yep, there's the, uh, double S. Which sounds like I'm talking like a secret agent. Are we already at 30? How fast was that? And we still have enough energy for more. Are you kidding? Here's all this. Here's all this. You know, I'm at, I literally got to SS+. Plus. If I got Coffee Candy Cookie to a way higher level, it, it would be over. Because even just at level 7 with a level 6 pet, SS+, plus is possible. I think I did do good giving uh, Coffee Candy Cookie that extra level with Spirit Potions. But sheesh, man. This is insane. So let me give a Treasure Ticket and Special Magic Candy Blessing Ticket. I'm very, I'm very glad that I decided to do a video focused on this because... I was thinking of just, like, passing this video up, or at least leaving it to, like, I don't know, maybe after Chapter 2 released. But I can't even believe that. I can't even believe the, the amount of points that you would just get from doing these skills. Okay, so anyway, I, I don't know, but I'm just gonna be ending the video here. I know it seemed like a little bit more of a shorter video, especially with these videos, you would expect a lot more lore. But I think this was just very fun. If you haven't had the opportunity to, definitely get the opportunity to, like, run with these skills and get major amounts of points. You don't know how much of a difference that makes. And in fact, even if you don't have the chapters done, well, actually, scrap whatever I just said, which, by the way, I think someone is either on a motorcycle or lawn mowing outside. It might be either or. But still, just run with these abilities when you get the chance. Even if you beat all the uh, chapters, get 100%. Go back and run through these because you can definitely get some higher points on the leaderboards. But with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like, leave a like on it. And also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my cookie run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe? And also hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merchandise if you want to check that out. Because uh, I'm not forcing you to buy anything. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. There's also a link down in the description that leads to a Discord that I have, the Hype Needs Hub. Which... I'm just saying, it's a fun time down there, and we're trying to expand each and every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's also another link down in the description that leads to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can, get the, I can get the kicker on YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you and Denise and Guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype news.